snake oil or science? There is so much out there. We all want to try to have an edge. We want, we want to take a shortcut. We want to be faster, stronger. We want to recover better. We also maybe want products that claim that they do something when they don't really do something. Maybe we have a phobia of snakes, mm. for example. Okay. Huh. Like Snake Away. Ooh. Snake Away is a product that doesn't actually work <laughs> and proven not to work. Also, ion bracelets. Do you remember ion bracelets yeah, kinda. from way yeah, yeah. back? Uh -huh. I remember walking through the Cherry Creek Mall. I was stopped at a kiosk and this black dude said, hey man, you want to improve your balance? I was like, uh, I don't know. you know how salesmen do? Yeah, yeah. He takes my arm, puts an ion bracelet on me. I put my arms out like this and he tests my balance. He's like, look, I told you, I told you. It's better, it, your balance is better than it's ever been. Did you buy it? I didn't buy it, <laughs> but what, pe why people bought it was because NFL players were wearing it. Mm -hmm. The claim was that you would be superhuman. You would have all this energy. And there was another one. Uh, like head on. Head applied on, directly exactly. to the forehead. Head exactly on. that, yeah. Head on, applied directly to the forehead. 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 <laughs> it is like seared in my prefrontal cortex, I know. though. But like we honestly, I would those. probably send my 599 to the address at the bottom yeah. of the screen and yeah. bought that, because who wouldn't want a quick, immediate, easy way out yeah, of the exactly. Yeah, exactly. So a fad, now that's happening, we know, is cold plunging, mm, cold mm -hmm. water immersion, cryo saunas. Yeah. Is that snake oil or is it science? Yeah, I see that all over now. I feel like I see so many people that I know or I follow on social media that are yeah. all about these ice baths. Like it's the way to be the best athlete you can be. I'm, yeah. I'm curious, our resident expert in all things smart yeah. and science. So what's really interesting about this topic is that there is so much research out there about recovery for endurance athletes, power lifters, basketball players, that mm. sort of thing. Cold, as we know, if you get a cut, if you have surgery, we wanna apply ice to the incision to lower inflammation, right? Same idea when it comes to um, endurance sports, mm -hmm. when you are working out, when you have all these micro tears in the muscle, we wanna lower that inflammation. It's not always great to lower inflammation because mm. it's, it's the body's response to recovery. But sometimes when we want to have multiple, let's say, super hard efforts or super hard workouts, sometimes ice baths are nice. Where it gets really snake oily is when people claim that it can cure cancer, autoimmune disease. Um, I think it's supposed to make you yeah. lose weight. Yeah, e exactly. Yeah, weight <laughs> yeah people are taking yeah. cold showers to cure depression. Yeah. Uh, seems like a little bit of snake oil. And as we know, yeah. you don't always want to get rid of inflammation. Some of it is really important for the adaptation process for athletes. So it's kind of one of those cases where there is science available here. It really mm -hmm. just depends on the effect you're looking for. Exactly. The trouble really comes when something that is supposed to be scientific becomes a fad, yeah. right? And this is where we see danger. We we all know about the poor woman who died in a cryo sauna. People are dying in cryo I saunas? Say, I didn't exactly. know why. Yeah, so in a cryo sauna, you're only supposed to be in there for about three minutes okay. yeah. at a time. Which makes and sense, because doesn't it go to like negative 40 degrees or something yeah, like that? Yeah, extremely cold temperatures. The difference between cryo sauna and cold water immersion, cryo saunas use air to cool us down. Ooh. Cold water immersion is Self-explanatory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so this woman died in a cryo sauna because there was no oversight. She had worked in this cryo sauna sauna, and she ended up being found dead the next morning, unfortunately. So there's there's quite a bit out there. There's there's very right. little research done on can cryo saunas, can cold water immersion truly, really, um, really and truly cure cancer and do all these <laughs> things that people claim it can do. The, the truth is no. Yeah, you know, I'm curious, why do you think athletes, particularly endurance and outdoor athletes, are so prone to fall for snake oil traps, right? Like, what is it about yeah. our communities that makes us so gullible? It's, there is such thing as called marginal gains. Mm -hmm. Marginal gains are real. For example, as a cyclist, you know, we see time trialing, for example, mm -hmm. when you want to cut off a fraction of a second. Yeah. You have skin suits that are thousands of dollars. You know, yeah. these are marginal gains. So it, when you're riding at the top of the sport, you're literally one of the best riders in the world. You want something that can propel you forward to maybe have that fraction of a second. Yeah. 
I mean, I know I'm not one of the best runners in the world, but anytime mm -hmm. I hear about something that might be beneficial for my training, might make running feel easier um, yeah. or help me recover better, I know I'm at least a little bit curious. Yeah. I think yeah. sometimes maybe we fall victim to this idea that, of, well, it can't hurt, like outside of being trapped yeah. in a cryosauna mm -hmm. and, and dying, you know, maybe this thing, it won't hurt me and maybe it will help. So right. I might as well spend the 20, yeah. 30, yeah. So what's the harm much. in what's a head on? <laughs> what's the harm exactly. in head on? Smearing Elmer's glue over your, over your forehead. <laughs> yeah. So mm -hmm. I should say this, that cold water immersion isn't necessarily bad. I mm -hmm. mean, there is some research that has shown it does help mental awareness. It helps people go to sleep. Mm -hmm. It does help with some inflammation. Yeah. So some of it is snake oil. Some of it is is really based on science. Ugh, what I'm hearing is that it's complicated and we don't have an answer. <laughs> that, is a, that is a little bit of what you're hearing. <laughs> Maybe we can have a future segment where you tell us what to do and what to buy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. So for our viewers, I think you know this is it, it's helpful to know. It's also helpful to know that your limitations too. Not everybody can deal with cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, for more information on what works, what doesn't, and a little bit more science behind endurance exercise, you can go to outsideonline.com and check out our columns there.